Phoenix just how special is it? I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but how special is it for the fans to be excited that you're back? Yeah, well, I'm not sure if they're that excited, but um, you know, the it, the fans have always been great here. The X Factor has been amazing. They've treated me so well. It had eight great years here, so it's always nice to come back to Phoenix. I still live here in the off season. Um, yeah, no, it's a it's a hard fought game, and and Phoenix, you know, they're obviously with BG and Beck Allen back in there, and I mean, they're a dangerous team, and we, we just weren't good enough tonight. And, uh, so tonight was the first game. It was thirty three three pointers tonight combined. That was the most in WBA history. Just was it just the battle between two teams that can are elite? Um, Who's that question? Oh, is that for me? Danny, I thought he was looking at you guys. Danny, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, mean, I think we both. Both of our defense wasn't probably both coaches would say it probably wasn't where it needed to be, but on both teams, there's wonderful shooters. Um, and so many individual players that obviously attract so much attention that the three was open. Um, but you know, I mean, we 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 made a few more, but uh, you know, Phoenix came away, they just shot a better percentage, and especially in that fourth quarter, uh, they made some really big threes. And Brianna, you have 403 pointers in your career plus 350 blocks. Just how special is that? Because you're the quickest player to do that in the NBA. Um, um, I guess good. Uh, <laughs> I think that sometimes there's so many like stats that it's hard to keep track. But um, honestly, I feel like personally it was it was good to see the ball, the three ball go in tonight. Um just just for myself but uh continuing to make an impact on both ends of the court and doing what i do we'll go over to zoom starting with miles hey coach did uh did you get an explanation on that kt offensive foul call from the referees at yeah. any point no unfortunately i mean we looked back at it um but i had used my challenge earlier so kind of bummed i did that now um because everyone kept telling me that that could have been a four point you know, a four-point four, four point play for us, and that kind of, you know, could have changed the momentum of the game. And you never know. It's a what-if now, isn't it? So really no explanation at all. So hopefully I get one at some stage. All right, thank you. And the the defensive coverages on the threes, it looked like you guys went away from some of the switching that we've been seeing on the perimeter. Was that a, a philosophy shift for, for this game, or was it an execution thing? Yeah, I think it was an execution thing. We were supposed to switch a fair bit. We have our switching groups. Um, I, I just think Diana's very crafty. Uh, they're very, they kind of, we overreacted on any kind of penetration and, and you know, they, they're they great shooters, especially, you know, obviously Beck Allen had had a great night, uh, five from seven. That was that was pretty pretty good for her. And then Diana, I mean, they really put the dagger in us when we left them open. Um, but yeah, look, it wasn't a great defensive effort for us, but that's a team that obviously, it, it's always going to be an offensive game against Phoenix. Jackie? Uh, good evening, all. Um, Stewie, I'll, I'll start with you. Obviously, this theme of, of defense and just how it wasn't what it should have been tonight. Obviously, there were two quarters where you all gave up almost 30 points. I'm just curious, what are some things about um, the defense tonight that maybe are unacceptable going forward as you look to sort of bounce back from, from this? Uh, I mean, I, I would say, first of all, Phoenix is a, a really great offensive team. I think that um, we just needed to lock in on our coverages. And sometimes we're trying to get to our matchups when it's like there's a person right in front of us. Um, so knowing like the importance of guarding the your matchup, but also we were overrunning a little bit and kind of creating an offense for them. Um, and it's something that we can just lock back in on. I think, you know, Sandy touched on it. We have a, another incredible stretch coming up. Um, so we go home and, and we lock back in. I appreciate that. Um, and, and Sandy, just about that call where Leo's free throws were overturned. I'm just curious if you felt like there was maybe a momentum shift after that, because there was a lot of, you know, you all were were on a bit of a run there. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that's what that's how the game is, isn't it? Um, you know, we'll fight and we'll claw on our way back in. We did it, and then calls go against us. And um, sometimes that's basketball, but you know, it's unfortunate. Obviously, they said that was successful, and what can we say? So, I mean, for me, I just kind of you know, hindsight. Uh, wish we had a, a challenge that ours was successful, so we could have challenged the KT one because, you know, that would have been a big momentum change as well. Thank you.
Hello, all. Thank you for being here at this hour. Sorry you didn't go your way for tonight. Uh, Coach, I'll start with you. Um, if there's one positive you can glean from this game is that each member of the bench, all three who played, had a positive plus minus tonight. How proud are you of their efforts in this game, particularly over this busy stretch, particularly with a busy stretch of basketball coming up? Yeah, no, I think it was, you know, it's big for us. And we we keep, you know, well, I suppose they don't play a, a ton of minutes, but they're very valuable minutes when we need them. And I thought they came out and gave us great energy and gave us exactly what we needed. So, um, yeah, they have to just, you know, continue to stay ready. And Sabrina, for you in the fourth quarter, what did Phoenix do so differently in guarding the uh, three-point line, considering you guys were only able to get one in the final period? Uh, yeah, I mean, they were up to touch, obviously understanding that, um, that's what we were getting in the first half. I believe that was their kind of adjustment going into um, the second half was just fighting over and, and contesting a lot of those shots um, more, continuing to kind of build a wall behind the ball and um, mm -hmm. make things difficult. And obviously with them scoring, we weren't running out in transition as much as we were in the, in the first half. Appreciate your time and insight. Say Charles home. Lucas. Thank you. Uh, I just have one question for Sandy. You played against BG tonight, which you didn't in the first matchup. And I'm just wondering how, when you're on defense, how her gravity as a screener, as a rim roller impacted things tonight, if it maybe led to some breakdowns on the perimeter, like sort yeah. of a small yeah, effect. I think, um, and she was a great screener. Um, you know, and um, we, we didn't, you know, she hit us on the screen a fair bit. That It, it forced it a little bit of a switch and, and over-rotation um, behind the ball, and that created a lot of, you know, easier looks for them, um, especially a team that shoots three so well. Um, but, you know, BG, she's a she's a big body, that's for sure. We don't navigate around those screens, and you got a great passer and, and Diana just being able to get her the ball as well. So, yeah, that hurt us, definitely. Thank you. Russell? Yeah, uh Question for Dewey, uh, four for four from three tonight after you had struggled for a lot of the year. Wondering, do you feel any differently out there shooting or is this, as you know, you said in the past, like the law of averages kind of evening things out? Yeah, I mean, I think I was just continuing to be confident, be aggressive, um, you know, little things like keeping the ball tight um, and getting my legs underneath me. But uh, I... You know, I know I'm a great shooter, so I think that, you know, the shots that didn't fall earlier in the season, like, I knew eventually they're going to. Thank you. We'll take one more from Jennifer. Jennifer Porte from Let's Talk Women in Basketball. Was there anything unexpected that the Phoenix Mercury did that threw your strategy out? Um, not not really. We knew it was going to probably be a high-scoring game. Um. You know, I think in the fourth quarter they really they they put more pressure on us. Obviously, Cloud and you know Beck Allen on 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 Sabrina too. That's a a, a lot of length. She's a great defender. Um, you know, they, they, we and we miss we still miss some open ones, but I thought we just kind of rushed it a little bit. So I mean, they like I said, credit to them. They I think what they shot sixty six percent in the fourth, and we had tw twenty nine. We're way better at scoring team than that. So look, we'll go we'll regroup. Sometimes a, a loss is a great for the the you know of lessons that we can learn and uh we've got a lot of busy schedule coming up so we'll learn from this and then move on and, and get ready for LA. Thanks Thank everyone. You. Appreciate it.